So again, it goes back to the very beginning that you either are funny or you're not, that there's something about the truth in there that when I see, you know, Jimmy Glick, when I see those people, you're, you're telling me something that makes me laugh. But I'm, and it's such a primal part of who we are. Mm -hmm. And if you can't laugh, you got problems. So what is it about you, Martin, laughing at something? There's Steve does something when you're working on something and you laugh. What is that for us, for Martin, but for the species as well? Well, I think, you know, we like to be thrown off guard by anything in life. I remember interviewing uh, Edie Falco's Jiminy Glick, and I asked her a question. She started to answer it, and I said, just because I ask you a question does not mean I need an answer. And I got indignant. Well, that's total absurdity. Oh, I, I shushed it. I went, shh. And right away she got, she later said, oh, that's the bone of my, and, you know, I, I mean, I've just hated that my whole life being shushed. So she said, I, she actually responded like, you know, what her mother used to do when she was seven or something. And the absurdity of him saying that is funny, but in his world, he believes what he's saying. Who would we be if we couldn't laugh? Well, it would be a very serious world and a, probably a depressing one because life can be very depressing and we have to see the humor and absurdity of the whole, f of the fact that we're all going to die, perhaps in fiery crashes for some of us or horrible pain. That's, that's, that's terrible. So we might as well laugh at it, you know. The humor and absurdity that we're all going to die in terrible pain? Yeah, well, not all of us, but most of us. Horrible pain. You might be beheaded by, you know, any kind of group. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you very much. Uh, I this is fantastic. Oh, good. I really enjoyed this. Thank you. Lovely to see you. You too. Do you want to say anything else? Bye.